Hi, this is Laura Chapel from Chapel University, and I'm going to show you very quickly how I do my creation and exporting of reports within Wireshark. So the first thing I do is, as I'm analyzing the trace files, I put in my notes. The first note to put in would be one that covers the entire trace file. And to do this, a trace file annotation, we go to the bottom left corner, and right next to the export button, you'll see the capture info, uh, capture file properties button. And when you open that up, you will see in this window that you have an area right here that says capture file comments. And here's where I put my notes about the entire trace file. Now the trace file in which I'm working right now is called sec getsplendid.pcapng and I went through and I annotated this trace file completely so that when you download the trace file you can see what's happening within the trace file by looking at my notes you can see my interpretation of things so I did put in a capture file comment here that explains in hope of demonstrating a DNS name error I did this blah 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 when you type in one of these capture file comments, don't forget to click the Save Comments button before you close this window. In addition, up at the top, in the top area of this window, under Details, you'll see if you scroll down a bit, you would see not only the statistics for the file, but also the file comment, my message about in hopes of demonstrating a DNS name error, but also you'll see packet comments and all of these are items that I will use to create a report about this trace file. To put in packet comments you simply find a packet of interest let's say this get request uh, no let me find a different one where I haven't got a comment in there yet let's say I'm looking at frame number 16 and I want to put in a comment about that frame. To add a packet comment you simply right mouse click on that packet in the packet list pane select packet comment and put in whatever your comment is. It goes here. I'm going to say OK. Now because I've changed this trace file, notice that in the upper left hand corner on the title bar, I now have an asterisk in front of the file name. That means that this file has been edited since it was opened, and if I want to retain the comments, I need to save this file. I don't want to retain that one comment, but so I won't save the file at the end here, and that comment won't be in the sec-getsplendid.pcapng file that you download. But I do have a lot of other packets that have comments. Here's a quick way to find packets that have comments in them. In frame number one in this trace file, I have a packet comment here. I can expand it looking down here in the details window. But I'm just going to right mouse click on the line that says packet comments, and I'm going to apply this as a column. Now I simply have check marks that show me which one of the packets have comments. If I want to add a column with my comment in the column, I can right mouse click on the line below that where my comment exists and choose apply as column and there are all of my comments. I don't need to see my comments here so I'm going to hide that particular column. Now to export a report based on all the comments that you place in a trace file we go back into the capture file properties window and we want to pull out everything in this top section here so I'm going to select everything that's in this top section here and then do a control C to copy it or command C and close this and now I'm going to open Word. Once I'm in Word and that's what we use for this I'm just going to paste in everything I copied all the comments and everything this includes all the statistics as well so now I've got a very strong start on a report it needs some formatting definitely but it explains where the file was located the length of the file the the hash values of that file the format first packet last packet information how it was captured 
interface, and then the basic statistics. And right after that, you will see my file comment followed by the packet comments as well. And I would take this highly annotated trace file and provide it back to the customer, as well as this report that I generated from those packet and file and the file comment.